Hello Taurus, welcome to your monthly general reading. Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Trinath Note. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, as this is a collective a message for your sign please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation let's see what do we have for you for the month of july we have wisdom energy you are very powerful during this month taurus someone will come for an advice to you because they really sees you as someone who is very smart, very wise. There is something also about you using your wisdom and experience in order to make a right decision. Number 27 or 17 might be of significance, but, but let's see what Taurus can expect in the month of July. Let's see, Taurus, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have for you, Taurus? Yeah, power. Very powerful. You are indeed very, very powerful during this month. And we have the same energy. Wisdom and change. So we have power change wisdom for some of you uh it's like a spirit animal might be a dragon or dragonfly owl as well we have in here leadership stack okay yeah you've been called here to take um uh, i for some of you i feel that you are a mentor you know, it's like you possess all this wisdom. You're called here to be in a leadership position, to guide, to use your wisdom. Also, there is something here about indeed advice, to give someone advice. Someone is listening to you, Taurus. They're really looking up to you. You are very powerful. You have a lot of influence during this month. That's what I am getting. And you can expect a very positive change. But there is also, as I mentioned before, and I was tapping in that, in that energy, I feel that you will have to use your experience and wisdom in order to make a decision to kind of trigger this change that is showing up for you. But things will be changing. Things will be changing for the better. Okay. And you might be during this month indeed be in a leadership position, Taurus. Very powerful energy. Very powerful okay let's see your finances and career let's see what you can expect during this month manifesting taking steps, movement. So there will be a progress, Taurus, regarding a certain, regarding your work-related situation uh, or finances. What I am getting here, so for some of you, Taurus, if you've been um, looking for job, I see that things will, you will see progress. Things will starting to happening, manifesting. Okay. Um, let's see, manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen. Beautiful. Taking steps. Action is a key to getting where you need to go. You cannot wait around. Take a step in any direction to get unstuck and find opportunities. Movement. You will make a good progress now and you will be able to overcome any obstacles in your path. Big leaps forward are possible nice nice so essentially this energy is is kind of telling you Taurus that in order if you want something to happen it is 
important for you to take a significant action in order to achieve it. And the thing is here that the universe has your back. You are very powerful and you will see a progress. You'll be able to overcome any obstacles that might have been put on, on your path. And um, yeah, there will be opportunities. I feel that opportunities will be showing up for you because you are manifesting a very beautiful things, a very significant change for some of you. Please take it how it resonates for your personal situation. Mm -hmm. But things will be changing. Things will be changing. I feel that, you know, you will know exactly what to do when, when a certain opportunity will show up for you or will manifest. Mm -hmm. I feel that you should kind of trust your intuition, your logic, your wisdom. But you will see progress either way regarding your work-related situation or your, your finances. Okay, Taurus, please stay with me till the end of your reading because at the end I will be pulling your angel card for this month, for the month of July. But now let's see what else we have for you Taurus could you please show me more for Taurus could you please show me more for Taurus what Taurus can expect during this month the month of July okay wow your energy Taurus very strong I feel that there is something that you are thinking about and it's like maybe you are uh, maybe you are at the crossroads of your experience or you or you are in the middle of some sort of situation we have a four of cups What I am getting from this energy Taurus I feel that something hasn't been working out for you for quite some time and whatever that was in the past, I feel it, it, it was bringing certain amount of satisfaction and happiness, but things changed. And I feel something no longer makes you happy. And you are refusing here to accept some sort of kind of offer. You know, cups are emotions, so it can be an offer of love, but it can be an offer that uh, you know, you thought that in general it will bring happiness and joy and fulfillment, but the reality is different. Let's see, what do we have else for Taurus? What else we have for Taurus? Nine of Swords, the Fool card, and the Emperor, yeah. The leadership position. You might be Divine Masculine, or you're dealing with Divine Masculine. We have Nine of Wands seven of pentacles and ace of pentacles okay N nine of swords here indicates that at the moment there is something that might be stressing you out or it's on your mind but i feel there are moments that this particular thing or situation is keeping you awake at night mm -hmm. i feel that you've you you've been thinking a lot about this situation we have the fool with the emperor there is a new beginning showing up for you that will um, bring more stability to your situation emperor is all about stability and i feel that you will be in a position of advantage and also for some of you might receive indeed promotion what and you've been waiting it for some of you it's like you've been waiting for a long time for this to happen because look we have a seven of pentacles this is an investment being very patient but still kind of investing waiting for the right moment when we'll be able to, to um, reap our rewards uh like um as see uh profits of our dedication essentially nine of wands suggests here that you've been very very careful i feel also very selective with your energy but there are moments or there have been moments i feel that you are not quite sure if it will ever manifest but it will because we have an ace of pentacles 
and ace of pentacles is this big offer so with the emperor i feel that for some of you you might indeed receive a promotion or you will be given an opportunity here to shine and to show some sort of kind of leadership uh, qualities mm -hmm. i'm also seeing that your finances will look good your situation will gain more stability and security what I am getting also here is very specific. For some of you, Taurus, you might be a single parent with the Fool and Emperor. And it's like maybe you are worried here about, uh, about a certain situation. Or it's like maybe um, yeah, it's like so if you're a parent I feel that uh, uh, a younger person here might be a little bit grumpy. Oh, it's like it's a teenager and it's very difficult to find, you know, um, a common language <laughs> with the teenager. It might be a case and, you know, you, f you feel that it's, it's not great at the moment, but you have nothing to worry about, okay, because things will get better. But that's obviously just for some of you, but I can see that. Overall, I'm seeing here that you'll be given a very, very solid opportunity for more stability and something that you've been waiting for quite some time will, will starting to manifest, which is very beautiful. Show me more, please. You might be dealing with Aquarius. We have very strong Aries. Let's see, what do we have else for, what else we have for Taurus, please? Taurus. Chariot. Nine of Cups, beautiful. Seven of Wands and Page of Cups. We have here Cancerian energy, so you might be dealing with a Cancer sign of Zodiac, of course. Uh, the world, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, we also have your energy, so you might be dealing with another Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio and Leo with the world. Yeah, someone here is coming with an offer of love, of peace. And it's been like a long time coming with the Knight of Pentacles. There will be some sort of positive resolution to a certain situation. Someone here will try to make amends with you, Taurus, and to once and for all resolve it in the, in the best possible way. So I feel that you'll be very happy. This is also an offer of peace in order to close once and for all certain chapter and to move forward towards the future. But it took a quite some time here for someone to come forward with that offer, but it's coming. And for a lot of you, it will show up during this month we have a chariot i'm seeing you being very dedicated ambitious very full of courage it's like you want something you want to go for it and i'm seeing it happening for you um because we have following cut we have a nine of cups and nine of cups essentially suggests here that you're that uh, something that you've been waiting for quite some time or some sort of kind of wish here will be granted Number 99 might be quite important or numbers 99 might be of significance, but you will get what you want. Look how different this energy is from this one. Everything will be okay, Taurus. You have nothing to worry about. Seven of Wands. There is something here about you having advantage over... Um, mm, give me a second, Taurus. Um, competition. You're starting from a very, very... Um, like a privileged position, I would say. Maybe not even privileged, that's the that's not the best word. Better position, I would say, because you see this person here, it's like on a mountain and those ones wanted to kind of um, uh, have an effect, but this person here is in a position of advantage, right? So it looks here that um, this is something that you deserve and it's coming, it's coming uh, to you. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm seeing you wanting to prove that you, there is something here about you. It's like you proved that you deserve that 
that to that you deserve to be in a position of that you deserve to be in a leadership position that's what i am getting very strongly page of cups i'm seeing people being very nice to you very kind very very kind very nice with their words it's like they want to be in your good books, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Because the big success is showing up for you. Big success. Could you please show me? Let's see your love life very quickly. Free cards. Let's see free cards. Could you please show us? Okay. A love life for a month of July. For Taurus, what Taurus can expect during this month when it comes to love life. You might be dealing with Leo. Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius, more Aquarius, more Taurus, more Scorpio, more Leo. Three of Cups. King of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay. Taurus, you have someone in your close related environment, okay, who is pretending to be your friend. And I'm going to be honest with you. This person uh, seems to be uh, someone who is quite knowledgeable, who is quite smart. Uh, most of the time when they start talking, it makes sense. But this is someone whose intentions are quite questionable with this Five of Swords. I feel that and with the Three of Cups, it's like this person is in your inner circle of, you know, um, like maybe it's a friend of a friend, but... Um, you're hanging out with them a lot or it can be your friend but I feel it's like close relatively close to you yeah this is someone who because this king of swords it's uh is more focused on this five of swords than the three of cups so what I am getting here is that this is someone who can be quite manipulative and who likes to play mind games. I feel this person is jealous of you, Taurus, because it seems that you are very knowledgeable. You are very smart. People are, you know, listening to you. People are drawn to you. People like your company. You are very likable. And this person is kind of, they want to be next to you. Um, in a sense, they want to be your friend, but I feel this person is kind of copying a lot. Like trying to mirroring you. That's what I am getting. Maybe even the way you dress. Also, you know, um, your mannerism or something like this. This is someone who is quite jealous and would love to have that influence and as you have on people. This is just a side message here. When it comes to your love life, we have a sun, eight of swords and the wheel of fortune. If you've been feeling that, for instance, Doris, that nothing has been happening in your love life, well, there will be a big shift. Things will be changing. Wheel of fortune is bringing that desirable change. Um, this is also a sign of good fortune and good luck. And I feel that you will feel really good about this with the sun, really. So if you've been feeling stuck or indeed if you felt like there is no progress, nothing is happening, this month will bring change, very positive change. I'm also getting here someone who wants to talk with you, who wants to make amends, but this person in the past, I feel that's been, or maybe even now, if you kind of in touch with someone like this uh, and you had a little bit like a disagreement or falling out, they want to make amends with the Three of Cups. But this person with the Five of Swords, there is something here about them arguing for the sake of argument, trying to prove it to you that they know best and uh, creating a little bit of a self-sabotage energy. 
because of manipulation and mind games. And at the, because Five of Swords represent an empty victory where no one is victorious. And that's how this person feels. Mm -hmm. They want to make amends. But I feel this person can be still quite manipulative and they can be playing, uh, they have these tendencies to play mind games. King of Swords, they do want to talk and it feels like some sort of form of communication is coming. You might have had an ending with this person. This is someone who might have really disappointed you on an emotional level. Let's see Taurus and advice for you. Could you please show me advice for Taurus for the month of July? We have I don't do rev reversals, but let's 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 take it as it as it's showing up. We have the hanged man uh, in a reverse position. We have a queen of cups. You might be dealing with Pisces. An advice for Taurus, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Temperance. Beautiful. Money, money, it's coming. You'll be in a very, very good financial position and it's like your matters here under a protection because the temperance, it's a garden angel of tarot. So, and that nine of pentacles with the 10 of pentacles, it's with this temperance card. So if you've been anxious or worried about your finances, the month of July will be very good and your advice is here to not worry about this, okay? Because it feels like the universe has your back. You might be dealing indeed with Sagittarius. Your advice here with the hanged man in the reverse position. Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. What I am getting here, Taurus, is I feel that the universe won't... There is something here about stop overthinking something i feel that you have a certain view about something and you were in that hang in that kind of energy maybe not even energy it's about i need to word it properly um i feel that you put yourself or it's like you took a step back in order to rethink something and also to look at certain situation from a different perspective and angle. The thing is that you might still feel that you need more time. This indicates that you just know now you have the full picture. There is no need to overthink it or overanalyzing. There is no need to overthinking it or overanalyzing it. Okay. It feels like you have the knowledge, you know essentially mm -hmm. because king of wands suggests here that i feel that you are waiting for the right moment to take action king of wands represents someone who is a very good strategist and who has a plan but wait this is a passive energy however this king of wands is holding the ace of wands which suggests action so I feel that you've been waiting here for quite some time to take action. Um, with the Queen of Cups, there is something here about maybe I should, maybe I should not. I feel that when it comes to emotions regarding this particular situation, you might be not quite sure. But the cards are showing here that you know. You know the truth. You have a full picture. And I feel that's, that's, that's essentially your, um, your advice. It's like reassurance or confirmation that you have a full picture. And now it depends on you if you want to take action or not. Mm -hmm. But it's like if you've been wondering if it's something else that you should kind of find out or figure out, this suggests that you know you know already all of it oh it's like you just know okay and don't worry about the money or finances uh, because that looks really promising here Taurus 
So let's pull three final cards for you, Taurus. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. We have High Priestess. Okay. the month of July and three of cups oh that's lovely you'll be very happy during this month Taurus nine of Pentacles Ooh, growth expansion the Empress the temperance and this and beautiful nine of Pentacles um, you might be dealing indeed with another Taurus we have Virgo we have also Gemini here more Pisces more Cancerian energy knight of swords the high priestess and three of cups you will find out here about something and it will make you feel very happy essentially high priestess is like something it's it's like it's it's hidden maybe a secret or something that you know i feel that deep inside you know about this thing but there is a but you will something here will come to light essentially because High Priestess with the Three of Cups and especially with the Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords is just this energy really wants to talk. There is a need to address something that hasn't been spoken about. But during this month, something here will come to light and it will make you feel really, really happy. You will have reasons to celebrate. Also, for some of you, you might uh, receive uh, an invitation. I see you spending time with your friends for some of you. Maybe you will decide to go to go out, to go out more and um, to spend time with your friends or someone from your close or with people who are very close to your heart. Also, I'm getting older, feminine energy, Taurus, and it feels here that with the Knight of Swords, there might have been a falling out, or it's like you are not on a speaking terms. I feel this is it might be a friend, or it might be a relative. This is an older per kind of, I feel that this person is older than you, but uh, in the month of July, th during this month, things will be, be will be just okay between the two of you because we have a card of celebration, happiness, joy, people making amends. This is a very positive card. Either way, you will have reasons to celebrate. And we have that beautiful Empress, the self-love, self-care energy. I feel that you are investing a lot in yourself. And there is something here about understanding your your own understanding that uh, I feel that you made a conscious decision to um, to put yourself first. That your uh, that the harmony, tranquility, and peace is crucial in your life, and this is what you're going to maintain from now now on. What I mean by this, I feel that you are not interested in any any drama. You don't want to be a part of it. You are not interested. You are focusing on yourself. You're looking good, <laughs> Taurus. I can tell you that with the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress and the Temperance, um, if you've been thinking, for instance, to go to spa or to change something about your appearance, yeah, you, you, I feel that it will uh, attract a lot of attention, but like a positive attention. And... It, you will look really really attractive and i feel that you do look attractive now but there is something here about you feeling good about yourself you know and that's very beautiful and that's what i meant by this i see you looking really really good and getting a lot of positive attention people might compliment your appearance there is something here about also indeed changing your appearance maybe um there is something here about the change, the hair color change for, for some of you. It might be divine feminine or you're dealing with divine feminine. But what is interesting that we have the emperor and the empress. For me, as an overall, I see that you share here very strong soul connection with someone. And uh, even if this, if this reading didn't mention this, this person, or maybe it did, please take it how it resonates. This person is still in your energy. Okay, and I feel this is something that you should know. They are thinking about you, but 
when it comes to those cards, I see Empress is all about growth, expansion and progress. So you will see, you'll be very lucky during this month, especially when it comes to money. Okay, finances. Nine of Pentacles suggests here that during this month you will have an opportunity to gain more stability, but also uh, more financial independence. I feel that your finances will look really, really good. If you own your own business or if you, for instance, like a free freelancer, Aries, um, this month will be very good for you. You will be getting lots of work that a lot of work that's what I am getting and it will bring um, more uh, prosperity and and abundance when it comes to finances but either way this this temperance is showing up again for you and it feels like your matters here are protected I something here will manifest the Empress indicates that uh, you're on the right track essentially and you'll ex you'll, I feel that on every level you'll experience uh, something here will change in a very very positive way and you will see growth you will see expansion something here will start coming into fruition because that's what Empress uh, it's showing us essentially and nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy so we have a very very abundant energy for you for this month and you will experience kindness uh, you'll be getting a lot of positive attention here and you are protected so you have nothing to worry about i'm seeing you being very self-sufficient very independent and actually very happy during this month indeed okay let's see your angel card for this month taurus Let's see what angel card we have for you, Taurus. Show me an angel card for Taurus, please. Change. That's what we've been talking about. Five, five, five. encouragement support obstacle battle calling creative work you are going to level up Taurus it might not feel good initially but it will prepare you to handle the greater things in life for your highest good this is the why you've been looking for push through it there is a reward waiting at the finish line so big changes I actually feel that this change will feel good and it will be very positive. You're encouraged here to embrace that change because um, you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded. Five, five, five. Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.